welcome everyone so now we will discuss this question so first uh, take few points from the question that is uh, the first point is it's the ideal gas second is it is expanding third point is this gas is expands through reversibly and irreversibly at the fourth and the most important point is the process is carried out in an isolated system so to solve this problem we first we can we can solve this problem mathematically using uh, the first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics says that delta u the internal energy change is equal to q plus w and that's w is the work done now here we have that the system is isolated so for isolated system no heat is going out and no heat is going down that means q that is zero so if q is zero so we will get delta u is equal to w that the internal energy change is equal to the work done so here gas is expanding that means work done by the system so already we know that w is equal to minus pdv so in this case we have that the work done is negative by the system so if work done is negative if the work done is negative that means internal energy decreases now two points we already know that the w for a reversible process is greater than w for a irreversible process that the modulus we take w reversible is greater than w irreversible so if the gas is expanding through reversibly that means it will do more work and if the gas does more work then the internal energy change will be more that the internal energy decreases will be more that means if the gas expands if the gas expands then the work done will be negative and if the work done will be negative then delta u internal energy change that will also be negative the so delta u energy change will be negative now what we get we get that for a reversible a reversible uh, case work done is more than irreversible case that means for reversible case internal energy change will also be greater than internal energy change for irreversible process but if we take the actual value so minus delta u reversible minus delta u reversible will be greater than delta u minus delta u irreversible so take the delta u the value of delta u is negative so minus delta u will be positive so that the reversible will be greater and from here we can write that delta u irreversible is greater than delta u reversible that is the actual value now delta u it is proportional to delta t if delta u is greater more temperature change so for irreversible case temperature change is higher so we can write delta t for irreversible is greater than delta t for reversible and finally the answer is t final for irreversible process is greater than t final for reversible process so the correct answer will be a Thank you very much.